So one of the important questions that the faculty have been asking is how can you be able to import an entire Word document with your assessment, your CAT, your quiz into the canvas without individually typing one question at a time and even typing the answers one at a time. Now, in the current canvas, you cannot directly import a document, a Word document or any other as it is and it goes directly into the quizzes or the assessment or even in the question bank. So for that reason, I have prepared this short tutorial to show you how this can be possible. But for you to be able to do this, you have to use what we're calling a third party software. And the reason you'll be using a third party software is so that you're able to generate what you're calling the QTI zip file, which is now possible, which makes it now possible for you to import that file directly into the question bank in the canvas. Now to do this, you'll see, and you can just check out there, there are a couple of third-party software that are available. That includes Blackboard Quiz Generator, ExamView, and Responders. And there's also Question Writer. Now for this particular exercise, I will show you with an example of how to use Question Writer to export your entire uh, question from Word as you had already prepared it and then put it into question writer and from question writer download it and now be able to upload it onto our canvas now i will use this as an example this is of course in word document now what would be the difference the difference is for you to be able to bring your word document into what i'm calling uh, the question writer third party software it demands certain formatting of that document and that text input format description is important because if you don't do it that way then you'll not be able to take it into the question writer and therefore you still have to do your uh, the old way of one by one uh, entering of question so some of the important things that have to happen is that you must not uh, you must see that each question must begin with a number with a dot or a parenthesis that is becoming Important. Number two, there must be at least one space between a number and the question wording. Now, each question choice must also start with a letter. And the letters can be A to Z or whatever or number you decided to put there. And of course, there will be a dot or a parenthesis after it. Now, so that the system knows where is the correct answer. Most of you know you can bold your answer. You may put uh, the answer in different color but so that the canvas just the same way it has to know which is the correct answer the correct answer will be identified by an asterisk character which you must place in front of the correct choices and there should not be any space between it and the ordering number that becomes important the other important thing which is optional but it seems to work better is to make sure that there is a title before the question now that is optional it can still do with or without and I will show you practically how that can be done so an example formatting a question is here if you notice the way it is there is that title is written and there's a spacing as an example who was the first president of the US there is no space after title so question three here it's written three with a parenthesis and a space and of course the question then there is also no space between that and the answers so these are the answers in the uh, format. Remember we said it can be either be in parentheses or after the letter there is a dot. Just like example A with a dot. Now the correct answer as you can see here is George Washington. The color is not important there. The reason why it's highlighted in red is to show you that this is supposed to be the answer. Now the same thing will apply if you have two and four questions. And I'll use just one of those two as an example. And the same thing will happen, you have an example here. You write your question, question 3, with parentheses, with a space, this is the question. And look at the answer, it's supposed to be true, false, and this is supposed to be the right answer. It has been put with an asterisk to show, uh, to make sure that the system understands that it's supposed to be the answer. Initial document from one, as it was, which I've just copied on the other side. So these are the questions, and after doing the proper formatting, it is down here 
the same thing that I've shown you. The title, the question. Now, this is an example of my own message I want to use to show you how it will be brought into the system. So there is question one, two, this, let me change this to three. This is supposed to be, sorry, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's supposed to be correct. So with the correct formatting, title here, then the question one, space in parentheses, no spaces in between questions. That is key and important. Now, once that has happened, this whole questionnaire is ready to be uh, imported into my my data bank so I'll save that and of course when it is ready is I close so and you'll find that there the question writer has a series of, of uh, reference for you to see how you can do the formatting of different questions so there's that document which you can download as your user Okay, once you confirm everything is okay, once you confirm everything is okay, you need to remember, you need to save it, save as a rich text file. So when you come in the saving, not here, this is important, rich text file. If you save in another format, you will not be able to take it um, to, the, um, to the question writer. So that I'm going to save and then close this. Now, the next thing you need to do is launch the question writer. So that's what I'm doing. So as it is opening. All right, there it is. So this question writer, the one I'm using has 30 days free usage. After those 30 days, of course, they will ask me to activate it and probably buy a license for it. And that's okay. So for now, we are using it for demonstration and I'll show you so I click on letter and it will launch the program and um, so this is the window that will come in so what you need to do here is say you have a new quiz and that new quiz will open this window and the first thing it tells you is that this quiz of viewers is not, has no title so we create the title for here. Let me write Q the people quiz. And I'm ignoring the rest for this particular purpose for simple reason that I just want to generate the PTF file for it for me to transfer it onto the canvas. However, this question writer is a standalone program. It can be used for the same thing and it has a little bit better features uh, than what you will see in other programs for writing questions or formatting them. So I'll say OK and there it is. My title of the quiz is going to be here. So the next important thing is for me to bring in my text format rich. So what you'll do, just as another uh, recap, you come to import here, you click on text format, it will uh, bring in your text format document, you go to the desktop, this is where the document is. As you can see, it is still a rich text format of the Word document. And I ask it to open. So it will open this document and you're going to see it appearing under this section here. And uh, so it has opened twice because I've clicked several, but let me close this one here and go to here. And here, do this. Right now, it has opened it as different. So, what I can do is we are then going to just rename this to the PA quiz. Right, I say okay, okay. So, it brings it and see there are my questions. It has already been identified. This is a multiple choice question, this is a people. Is a multiple response, and you can open it. And you see, this is the question. My first question was about the conavirity. So, once that has happened, the next important thing here is actually for me to save this quiz and uh, we'll save it again in the desktop as we 
That is saving in the question writer format. So I'll close that. I'll close that. Yes. So for you to export it in the QTI format, what you'll do is you need to open your quiz. And once you've opened your quiz, you come here to publish. And when you say publish, it has several options here. And all you do is say export as QTI. And once it does exporting, it has happened here. It will finish. You just click on that. And you can close this because it has taken what I needed. So where are my documents? My documents are on this top here. This is the file. And you can see it running on this other end here. So let me just call it. This is the folder with my questions. However, you cannot directly take the folder in this manner into Canvas. So what do you do? You zip it. And so to zip it, just right click. And if you have a OneDrive or a zip uh, maker, you just click on archive, add to archive. And you say you zip it. And it's going to bring the zip document just. So here is my document. So the QWA quiz which I made is here. Now this is the format, or this is the way that Canvas will agree to bring it into our system. So the next thing I'll do is come back to my documents. And when you come to the course you want to add it to, you go to settings. When you go to settings, when you open settings, come here, import content into this course. When you, uh, when you click import content into that course, you will open this window. You select here, I want the QTI type of file. You choose where the file is. It asks you where is your file. Remember, it was QWA quiz. I open that. I may write a name, but that is important, not important because eventually, it always records everything as an important question mark. So I tell it to import. So let's give it a few minutes to import. All right, so here it is. QWQ is QTI 1.2. As I said, it has completed. It has three issues. Now, ignore that part of three issues. It tells you that something has probably changed a little, and that usually affects just the... the picking on which is the correct answer however it has brought in the whole question back so where is it so the next thing you do is go straight to quizzes when you click on quizzes right here click on manage question banks when you read or when you reach the question bank you will find your questions. So look here, anything that I imported will be written as important question. So that was the one for question, but there are several here. Um, this was written to one to four. I think this is the most recent. So you click on it just to see whether it is the one that you wanted. And there it is. Simpsons, that was supposed to be that. Just confirming it was question. This was multiple choice, but it's okay. Update. Done. Go to my second question here. And then close again. That, remove that. Remember, this was two false. So, those are the errors it was telling you it was brought in. Not, like, not mainly touching on the content of it, but actually it affects the answers. But since the whole question bank has already been imported, it makes your work way, way easy and short for you to just simply do proofreading. So eventually, key thing, you must proofread your imported question bank and correct the answering area which has been affected. If your question does not come in with the question bank, it means on the question, on the word document itself, the original word document itself, you made an error. So that is your question bank. 
has been edited and it is ready to be used and as you can see here you can move these questions now to any place you want and in the same one point you can modify this if you wanted more points the usual editing takes place here 